Hello, this video is for the demonstration and installation of tympanometer T830 and T840. T830 and T840 are almost similar in functionality. They both are same except that 840 model has an additional contra reflex function. So here we go. Here we have the model T840 of the tympanometer what we offer from Labad. This is the probe of this tympanometer. You can see it. It has an additional feature of contra reflex. That's why it comes with a TDH headphone. You can see it. Here we have the power adapter of the tympanometer. The model number is written on it. You can take the print you by using a thermal printer. So here it is, the thermal printer what we offer. This is the printer cable via which you will connect the thermal printer to the main console so that you can take the print. Here it is, the main adapter, power adapter of the thermal printer. You can see it. Also in the box there are different size tips what you get. So this is the tip box what you get in the back of the tympanometer. It has different size tips. The size is mentioned on the box inside. You can see. There is a user manual what you get with the tympanometer so you can use it properly. You can see it. And also there is a calibration certificate what we provide. So that's all for about the component and the accessories of the tympanometer. Let's talk about the back panel of the tympanometer. This is how it looks. This is the on off switch. This is the USB port, printer port, power adapter point, contra headset point and this place is for the probe. This is how it looks. It's quite neat. Let's turn on the tympanometer. This is the main screen and the test menu is being loaded. Just wait for a few seconds. Here we go. So this is the main screen what you will get once the tympanometer is on. Here you can see the online values of middle ear pressure, ear volume, compliance and temp width. This is the tympanogram. Here you will see ready. When the test is in progress, it will turn to temp and when it shows reflex, that means the reflex test is in progress. Remove means the test is done. Here, this button below of the display screen it is used to change the ear in which you are putting the probe. As you can see in the picture, left, right. Here, the second button, it is used to change the reflex of Epsi, Contra or both. Here you can see what you want to see on this screen. Off means it will not show anything. Ipsy means only shows left and right. Ipsy reflex. Contra means only contra. Both means all the result will be displayed. These two buttons are used to shuffle between the IDs. 1, 2, 3 and so on. It so stores up to 200 tests. You can see this is the last test. It shows 200. Now buttons on the right. This very first button is used to go into the back menu. I will show it later on. This is to give the print command as you can see it here. This is to go into the settings. You can see. Now once you are in the setting menu, these last two buttons work as up and down key. Now you can see this button it is showing to go back and this button works as to enter the menu. Now once we go back, you can see this. here. You will go into the calibration menu. Once you press this button, you will go into the calibration menu. Here you can do the calibration. Let's go back. And this button, if you want to delete certain tests, suppose this test you want to delete, press this key, hold it. You will see 
a delete option is there and then press this button the test will be deleted so that's all how you will operate these buttons on the device let's make the connection this is the power point here we will connect the power adapter point this is the probe part where which we will connect the probe so this part will be connected first as you can see it here it goes over it goes over here like this and this air probe part goes here okay and then we will connect the contra which will be connected over here so this is our contra headphone port and it is connected like this after that we will connect the printer cable the printer part will be connected here and here if you want to connect it with the pc the usb goes over here okay after making the connection of the tympanometer we will make the connection of the thermal printer this is the thermal printer what we offer with the tympanometer and this is the paper roll what we will use to print the test so now you can see this is the button what you have to press in order to open the mouth of the thermal printer there you will see a indication how you have to place the paper inside the printer so we will do that so now we are placing the paper inside the thermal printer leave a little bit paper outside and then close the lid of the printer it will make a sound that means it's locked after that you will connect the power adapter point to the printer you can see this is the place where you have to connect the power adapter so uh, once you will take this cable in your hand you will see there is a flat surface on the port itself so place it downwards and connect it to the thermal printer once it is done you can turn on the thermal printer and after that you can take the print that's it let's start the test you will see initially it is ready over here once you will put the probe in the patient's ear it will change to tympanogram and then the tympanogram will be plotted you can see it's done so once it's done the reflex will be plotted on different frequency 500 1k 2k 3k 4k you can see here now it shows for contra the reflex is been plotted on different frequencies once it's done it will show here remove probe so at this time you can remove the probe from the patient's ear and it will show ready again test is done so let's take the print it will show printing tympanogram please wait so here it's printing you can see so the printing is done here it is that's all